Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Mustafa Ahmed. In today's video, we're going to learn how can you calculate the clay from gamma ray and from spontaneous potential log. And I'm going to explain how can you identify the lithology. Uh, so keep on watching and let's start. So first thing I'll start with uh, identify the lithology. To do that, uh, press on plot and here select cross plot. Uh, I'm going to put uh, y on the y axis rho b or path density and on the y uh, on the x axis I'll put neutron density. So here put neutron density and rho b you can drop it right here or you can put it right here. Um, and here we are going to use a chart uh, between uh, bulk density and uh, neutron density. Uh, you can find this chart here on charts. This is the chart uh, Schlumberger uh, neutron porosity versus bulk density APCL. Uh, press on add, and as you can see here, there are three lines. The first one for sandstone and the second one for limestone and the third one for dolomite and now we have to select the points on these three lines uh, to identify the lithology uh, I'll use this tool which is interactive selection uh, you, there are th four uh, colors and you can add more uh, I'll start with uh, this one for dolomite press on select and here select the point after that um, you can select another color I'll use a blue for the limestone and the green one for the sandstone if you go back to uh, the log view you can see uh, that this green zo uh, region represent the sandstone and the blue one uh, for uh, limestone of course we have to divide this reservoir uh, into many units uh, to see the clean formations uh, and to do that let me show you the steps uh, first and delete them all and then go back to, uh, to the cross plot uh, this zone for sandstone select it and you can and from here you can add zone for the sandstone so this zone represents the sandstone and with the same steps you can divide the reservoir so now i'm going to calculate the clay volume uh, to do it to press on uh, tropics and from shell volume uh, select gamma ray i'll work on uh, the third well select the gamma ray and uh, press on create uh, this is the well so I'll drop it right here uh, this is the input zonation if you have if you divide the reservoir too many zones you can uh, edit the zone that you want to calculate uh, the clay volume for from this window uh, parameters uh, here you can uh, add 
the matrix gamma ray or and gamma ray shell gamma ray shell is the maximum value of gamma ray uh, and the matrix is the minimum value of gamma ray uh, we'll edit it uh, to do it press on this uh, to play current layout parameters and press uh, on save and supply so as you can see here this is the maximum value or gamma ray shell and this is the minimum value and this is the clay volume from gamma ray I forget to mention something right here uh, about gamma ray method as you can see here it's already selected linear method but if you supply them there are more than one method what do we mean by this method uh, of course there are uh, for every single method there are there is one equation to calculate a uh, visual by this method for linear for example uh, this equation is used to calculate a uh, visual so it's gamma ray log minus gamma ray clean or gamma ray matrix gamma ray clean means uh, the minimum value of gamma ray and gamma ray shell means the maximum value of gamma ray minus gamma ray clean this equation is used to calculate v shell by linear equation there are more than one equation and there are more than one method to calculate uh, v shell for gamma ray so this is the first way and you can use continuous potential to calculate the clay volume here select the well and SP curve press on create and here drop the well and with the same steps press on supply and save and supply it you will find it here in this window and this is the maximum value and this is the minimum value so here this is the uh, clay volume